Hello everyone and welcome to the latest uh, community update from Verita. It's uh, the 26th of July 2024. Um, so I'm going to run through a few things today. Uh, I'll start off with a few um, technical updates. Um, then we'll move on to a bit of a technical demonstration. And if you stick around to the end, uh, there'll be a bit of alpha of uh, in relation to some uh, some upcoming uh, news that uh, we're really excited to, to share with everyone. So let's jump straight in and have a look at, um, uh, on the tech side, we have the uh, version four of the protocol um, has been released into uh, NPM. So for those who are builders out there, um, you can grab the latest version of the protocol. Um, there is a, this is version four, so up, a significant upgrade from version three. And one of the key changes is a separation between um, the Verita network um, and how that is, um, I guess, captured and the smart contracts that exist on chain for the Verita network and separating that from the DID, the identities, the accounts that um, can be used on the network. And this is, uh, giving us a lot of flexibility. So it's possible now to have um, did methods on other blockchains and um, on other from other networks um, that uh, are partners of ours or a or third third parties um, and still have them connect into the data that's stored on the Verita network. So uh, it increases a lot of flexibility there for, for both us um, and for, for our partners as well. Uh, so there is some changes to uh, how you a connect to the network as a developer. Um, and so there's some, some information here and uh, there's some other changes. We've, we've made an improvement to the, to the way the authorization works with the nodes on the network to provide more flexibility again and, and also enhance some of the security um, you know, capabilities. Uh, and there's a few other key changes here as well. So um, we'll make a formal announcement next week and, and share uh, these release notes uh, with everyone in, in due course. Uh, I'm really excited to also uh, provide an update on uh, the self-sovereign compute network um, that we've talked about uh, extending Verita. Obviously, Verita today is a, uh, a decentralized um, database storage network, and we are expanding the network to support what we're calling self-sovereign compute. So effectively, um, privacy-preserving compute that allows uh, your data to be used in lots of interesting ways. and the uh, use case we're super excited about in, in that scenario is, is actually personal AI. And so to that end, we have um, a, a draft technical light paper that's uh, being worked on at the moment. Um, so this is currently in progress and uh, there's a lot of, um, yeah, technical insight and thinking and um, uh, I guess uh, architecture and obviously there's some questions on how this will relate to the Verita token and expanding the capabilities of the token beyond just storage but also into compute. Um, so it's uh, a document that provides a, an outline or an architecture of what we're planning on doing and, uh, or, and doing already um, but we don't have all the answers as well so there's uh, uh, you know this is as much a starting point for what we're doing and um, uh, sharing this with with others to kind of contribute and and uh, get involved and provide feedback as we uh, go along on this uh, on this journey. So uh, this will be uh, released in due course as well um, as we we sort of finalise the uh, the document and and you know we're in the process of getting a lot of feedback from from other stakeholders and advisors and, and other experts in the field. So watch this space. Um, we also have uh, the Verita Network Explorer. So this is a, an upgrade to the current Explorer that we have. Um, this is uh, going to be, uh, should be released next week, all going well. Um, this ability to actually browse through different accounts on the network and um, uh, you know see graphs and things like that. So um, this is the start of, I guess, the next iteration of our Network Explorer. Um, you see there's a new nodes tab here. Um, so there's an ability um, to uh, have a deeper insight into the network um, and this will then tie into how we start unlocking and enabling others to, to start to run uh, nodes on the network and stake and um, you know, do all of those core network capabilities that, that we've got um, existing in the network but we just haven't got an interface yet to make that easy for people. So again, uh, watch this space. This will be coming, uh, this will be coming and, and released uh, fairly, sh fairly soon. All right, so the next thing I'm going to jump into is our um, a quick demo 
or I guess example of our data connector server. So if I jump back to a screenshot that's in our light paper here, you can see this screenshot of um, of the personal data bridge, which we, uh, we've announced in the last couple of weeks as well. So the personal data bridge is a way for end users to connect to lots of different APIs and pull their data into the Verida network and, and use that uh, and then connect their data to things like personal AI assistance and, and other interesting use cases. Um, but obviously to enable this, we need a, a whole bunch of infrastructure and tooling that um, allows us to connect to different um, to these different APIs, migrate that data um, into common sort of structures or schemas, put that data in the Verita network, make it searchable, a whole bunch of things. So behind the scenes, we now have um, a the Verita data connector server, which is a is the back end that enables the personal data bridge. And so what I'm going to do is show you just, um, uh, you know, this is the back end interface, you know, end users won't use this, but this is just to show uh, the capabilities that we've implemented and um, the interface will be available soon for end users to start to pull their data in. Um, so you can actually get an example of what is possible through our command line. And you can see that we have the ability to connect to a third party provider. So for instance, you could, um, you know, initiate a, a, a Google a connection to your Google account, your Gmail account, or to Facebook, or you know, Twitter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we have a, a sync command, um, which allows you to uh, synchronize the data that you um, uh, for a particular provider. So you can say, hey, I'm going to sync all of my Google data, or you know, all of my um, data from Telegram, for example. Um, and so, for instance, we can see how this works by running the help command. And um, you can see you can provide a bunch of commands here around, you know, you know what, who it is that you want to sync data from. So say, let's say Google. Um, you can provide your, your private key to the Verita network so that you can pull your data and synchronize it um, and, you know, choose your network and things like that. Uh, we also have the um, uh, data command. Um, and this is a way just to easily get a snapshot of, of the data that you've um, provided, uh, sorry, that you've got in a particular provider. So for instance, you can see uh, if you've connected your Gmail, um, you can see the five most recent and the five last um, Gmail messages that are stored in your, your private data store on the, on the encrypted uh, Verita network. Um, so I'm showing this really to show that uh, this is something that's been uh, developed um, you know, over the last few months and it's really coming together now and, and working quite well with a, a couple of providers that we've implemented. Uh, and the next stage um, on our development cycle is connecting this backend server to that front end that uh, you've seen some screenshots of and that will then become the first release of uh, the personal data bridge uh, that we're building. And now lastly, I'm going to move on to a bit of a sneak preview of um, something that's yeah super exciting. Um, you know, one of the things we've talked about for a long time at Verita is you know owning your data, um, taking control of your data, and then using that to benefit yourself in different ways. And you know, we believe that the emergence of AI is is a really powerful use case. You know, what if I could connect all of my data to an AI agent, um, and it knew everything about me, and it was private? Like, we think that that's um, going to be a really powerful. Um, uh, you know, product and, and something that's everyone's going to want to use every day and get a lot of value out of. Um, so to that end, we have um, been putting together uh, a landing page and we're, we're getting ready to sort of formally um, push out to the world uh, some more insight into um, our vision for that and, and um, allowing people to start to, to participate and get involved in that in that process. So I won't talk about this too much because we haven't formally announced it, but this is just a little sneak preview for those of you who have uh, uh, got to the end of the video. So this is a landing page that we put together. Um, it's all about personal AI, your digital twin, and showcasing um, an example of what we can enable with Verita once you own your own data. Um, and we've got a little sneak preview of what an interface might, uh, might potentially look like as well when you've got your data and you can start to talk to that with different types of assistance. Um, so very excited to be able to bring that, um, uh, you know, launch that uh, very soon and um, start to get people's feedback and, um, you know, put some of this product and this tooling in, in everyone's hands. And uh, um, yeah, that'll be a super exciting um, next step on the Verita journey for all of us.
So thank you for listening. Um, try to keep this under 10 minutes and I think I've just done that. So um, thank you everyone for all your support. Um, you know, there's a, a lot going on behind the scenes here at Verita and this is just a, an opportunity to share some of that with you all. Um, and uh, yeah, keep abreast over the next couple of weeks as a lot of these things come out and are more formally announced.